didn't want to re release the product like we did in the past, which is we used to release product like you release a movie. You know, we try to have the big opening weekend. And what I wanted to do is more the hockey stick. I have a more app software approach. In terms of looking at the where, how we launched the product, we look at you know the overall objectives, kind of the strategies, and then the tactical aspect. And one of the key objective was because we launch with an exclusive partner, um, we had to make, we had to show that partner that this product was a success from week one. And so the entire go to market was really driven towards that goal. Okay, because everything else from there would take care of itself, meaning that the partner would be happy, and the partner would be like, we have a great product, let's double up. This is why we didn't want to do this, um, this, uh, this, what I call uh, this uh, movie, movie release type of big opening weekend and then flats out and then it takes time to ramp up. But we wanted to do a slow but surely ramp up. What I'm very proud of is that I convinced everybody to do a pre-launch. We had three phases. We had a pre-launch phase, we had the launch, retail launch, and then we have a general launch that's coming in later this year. So the pre-launch was, the big idea of the pre-launch was what we call a referral program, which means that we decide to seed that product to about 200 people. And every product will come with a referral program, meaning a card that invite, that tells people, hey, you've been selected, we love what you do, and I think we love this product. It had business cards, business size, business card size cards in it that were referral cards. Hey, if you like it, give it to people. Please wear the product because we think the product is amazing and it does its own marketing. So we wanted to make sure people wear it. The idea was to create visibility, build up some buzz organically through the people we seeded and through the original press. So that started at the end of, uh, that started actually the, the first week of, of February, not the first week of March, but the product was only officially launching March 24th. And what happened there is, is amazing because the press hit on the story. They literally loved the story around the product and they loved the product. Let's not forget that the core, the core key success factor is the fact that the product is amazing. So we had a great product, we capitalized on it, we built a great story on it so everybody knew what was great about this product and then we launched it with this, this referral program, pre-launch program. I'm very proud of it because this led in stronger sales than we had planned and eventually meet that goal, which was have a great first week. The high level metrics we wanted to track were how many people we will, we will send the product to, how many people will come to our site and register to learn more about Shadow, so email registration, and three, how many products we'll pre-order. Those were the key metrics. We beat all of those numbers. So it happens that one goal we accomplish about 80% of it when we launch, which was still big, and one, we accomplish 150 or 200% of what we had planned.